What's going on everybody? My name is Aiden and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about four days into training camp thus far and there is a lot that has transpired from obviously the first day till the fourth day. Of course, drills being run, tempo being set, players doing different things. Let's discuss what we know about this training camp thus far in this video. But before we get any further, if you like the video and you want to see more from me, drop a like, drop a follow and or subscribe if you are new and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls and the training camp they are experiencing right now. How good or bad do you think it's going and do you think it will make an impact towards the regular season where game one begins and we go forth on another long 82 game season? But with that being said, let's get started. So four days in, obviously the first day involved media day and stuff of that nature, just discussing the Chicago Bulls and what the goals are. Training camp now is trying to implement the goals that we spoke about in media day. The first thing we need to talk about is playing faster. It is very clear that the Chicago Bulls are trying to implement new ways to get the ball from back to front or from, you know, the defensive end to the offensive end very quickly. Try to be a faster paced team. And there are many drills, you can see the highlights of it, I think from the Chicago Bulls themselves, just showing how quickly they are setting the tempo, how quickly they like to play. And because of that, you're seeing, I think, a little bit of a different style in different ways as well. Playing faster has allowed us, in my opinion, to shoot more three-point shots. I've seen a couple of three-point shooting drills out there thus far, both contact and non-contact related and everything of the sorts. I think we're starting to see a little bit more of that dynamic I guess, play on the defensive end as well. Now, whether that transpires on the court or not is a different story because we don't have some of our better defenders out there and we are relying on guys like Lonzo to get back to his peak level defense. But that's what playing faster will allow you to do. It allows you to play a different way. Now, for the past three seasons, we have heard the Chicago Bulls say they want to play faster. And seeing it in training camp is a beautiful sight. But at the end of the day, will it translate over to the main stage, to the Chicago Bulls in the regular season? I think, personally, there's more of a chance of this happening now than it ever has happened before. The reason why is that the younger pay, or the younger team that we currently have, of course, maybe outside of Vucevic, everybody else is a runner on this Bulls team. The fact that we don't have DeRozan that kind of plays at his own pace, there was no disrespect towards DeRozan there, but... You know, when you do play at your own pace, you do kind of play at your own tempo. Sometimes, in the end, um, it, it does take away the speed. It does take away the way that everybody else may want to play. And it worked in some cases, and in other cases, it did not. So when you're playing faster and you're go, 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 you should hopefully see that translate over to the main stage. And yeah, overall, that's kind of the biggest thing that we could talk about in relation to what the Chicago Bulls are doing at this point in time. We talk about team camaraderie as well. We're talking about players getting to know each other. Well, there are two players that have currently spoken out in interesting ways, and they both, funnily enough, play in very similar positions. I want to firstly talk about how people are reacting to Josh Giddy on the team. As a fellow Australian, I want to see my boy Josh Giddy succeed with the Chicago Bulls. And at the end of the day, it looks like the players are seeing him in a positive light thus far. Zach Levine has spoken out and said that dude can pass the ball and that uh, he was a very big pain to play against at the OKC Thunder, and having him here with the Chicago Bulls, you better get your hands ready, because you're going to get the ball. That's a nice feeling to kind of have as a fan, because at the end of the day, the Bulls have not been a good assist team in a long time. Obviously, the Lonzo Ball injury plays a factor, and of course, the tempo that we used to play at plays a factor in that as well. So having someone that is a bona fide playmaker that will grab a rebound and dish it forward, running in transition and helping in that department, not only are you seeing that with Josh Giddy, you'll also see that with Lonzo Ball as well. Having two players that could do that, maybe at different times, heck, sometimes together, it will be a different way that we like to play, and that tempo should be raised. So I'm excited about that, and I'm loving the fact that people right now are enjoying playing with Josh Giddy. Now again, I hope that translates over into the main team. I hope it translates over into the regular season, because I want Josh Giddy to succeed. And not only that, we need to prove that we didn't lose that trade with Caruso. Because um, right now, I think every, all, all signs are showing that we probably lost that deal, lost that trade. So there is a little bit of a point to prove there for Josh Giddy and for the Chicago Bulls as we head in our own direction. 
And we talked about Lonzo Ball already, but let's specify a little bit more about Lonzo Ball. So apparently, in the fourth day of his training camp, he has felt the best he has felt in a long time, or basically has felt the best he has felt since he has returned. He's talked about how he's done a little bit of everything in this training camp, getting in with the physical contact, the non-physical contact, getting the reps in, getting the legs in, and stuff of that nature. And he is feeling really, really good at the moment. Now... All signs are positive in that regard when it comes to Lonzo Ball. I mean, look, would you rather Lonzo Ball feel discomfort, feel uncomfortable, feel like he can't do it? I'd much rather hear Lonzo Ball is feeling the best he's ever felt four days into training camp than Lonzo Ball starting to question himself four days into training camp. So that is beautiful. Ultimately, does that translate over to the main team again? I don't think so. I think we need to see it with our own eyes more than anything, where Lonzo Ball is at at, the, at this point in time. I think preseason is going to indicate a lot. I don't know if he'll play in preseason, but if he does, that should give us a message. And if he doesn't, it'll give us an even bigger message in my eyes about where he is at at this point in his recovery. Uh, he also kind of admitted that athletically he won't be the same player. Now look, shock horror, right? Everybody kind of saw that coming, but... There probably were a few people that just thought Lonzo Ball was going to come back and just be the same. The same Lonzo Ball. He basically admitted, athletically, he probably won't be what he was before. But his IQ for the game and his love for the game and the passion for the game is what's going to drive him to having a good season and becoming a good player in the NBA again. I cannot wait to see what Lonzo Ball can do. And I'm excited to kind of, you know, get... Get to see Lonzo Ball back in the Bulls uniform again. Even if it's for a short period of time. We don't know what's the case with Lonzo Ball. We don't know if after this season he may not come back to the NBA. We don't know if he's going to eventually get traded. We don't know if he's eventually going to move away in free agency. We don't know these things. He's on a one-year deal essentially with the Chicago Bulls. So however long Lonzo Ball will be a Chicago Bull. I want to enjoy those moments knowing that this return is one, a rarity... Because let's be honest, people in his position don't return. And also, two, it's almost like it's a first. It's a, it's, it's something that just hasn't happened before. It's a first time type of situation for Lonzo Ball. So I am excited overall. And yeah, I think that's all we really need to discuss in terms of training camp. I'm sure there's a little bit more that we can go into. Um, I'm sure there are a bunch of interviews and a bunch of comments. There's a bunch of backstage media stuff. Uh, there was even a question. I, I don't know if you guys saw this, but I found this hilarious. They were basically letting the players ask questions for other players to answer. And Jalen Smith asked, why is Kobe so annoying? And funnily enough, it was Kobe White that ended up getting that question. That was hilarious. But again, you know, that's just media stage stuff. It's always funny to kind of see those things. Um, yeah, it makes me happy, makes me smile. Seeing Bulls players having a good time makes me have a good time. But what do you guys think about training camp thus far? Let me know if there's anything more you'd like me to talk about. Heck, give me video ideas. What have you seen in training camp you'd like me to talk about? Maybe there's something in training camp I haven't seen yet. Let me know in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a follow, like, and or subscribe if you are new. I will see you guys in the next Chicago Bulls related video. Keep in mind our very first um, pre-season game. Wow, I, I stumped a little bit. I believe it's going to be a Tuesday night for you guys and Wednesday night for me, the 8th of October for you guys, the 9th of October for me in Australia. So again, we're getting close. About what? Five days from now? Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Have a wonderful and safe day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.